Hello all my Ali Pallies and thank you for joining me today. Now as promised in my live yesterday, I didn't really have a lot of time to do this justice, but I promised you all that I would do a comparison video um, showing you, as you know, featuring the new um, gorgeous glowing beauty instant look in a palette. Here it is. And comparing it to previous instant look in a palette. So let's show you the previous ones in chronological order coming up now. Okay, the very first instant look in a palette that came out was called Natural Beauty. I love this palette. It gives a really good no makeup look. It's very, very subtle indeed. Um, but that is that one. So I would go for this one if I wanted a really subtle no makeup makeup look okay so that's the first one okay following on from natural beauty we had seductive beauty which is this one so a little bit more for the night time as you can see the blush is still quite subtle as are the bronzer and the glow shades but a little bit more of a smoky eye going on there so that was the second palette to come out Okay, the third palette to come out was Beauty Glow. And as you can see, I've had a lot of use out of this. I love this palette. And up to the other day, it was by far my favourite instant look in a palette. Um, I'm not sure now whether this new one overtakes it. But I am going to do some direct comparisons with this palette because I think this is probably the closest one although they're very different in a lot of respects, is the closest instant look in a palette that you have to the most recent release. But next we're moving on to the fourth palette that came out. Okay, so this one is called Smoky Eye Beauty. And I actually got this about three months before it was available on Charlotte Tilbury's website. Because it was available it, exclusively on two different websites. One was Beautylish, which I don't order from because you have to pay customs and everything else. But it was also exclusively available at John Lewis. And I bought mine from John Lewis. Um, for, and it was about two years ago, just before Christmas, I think, this one. Now, this one's got a black shade in, so you can really smoke out your eyes. This one in the middle is matte um, brown shade, which is incredibly useful. And I do love this palette um, in its own way. And then this one here is a lovely shimmer shade. So I would probably say that up until the other day, this was running as my second favorite. Also what I love in it is that this is Bar of Gold and this is First Love Cheek to Cheek Blush which is one of my favourite blushes. So all in all, this was a very, very good palette. And also it had a slightly darker bronzer, which was better for me because in a lot of her palettes, I think because Charlotte wants to capture as many people as possible, she tends to go for um, bronzers that are quite fair, um, that you really have to build up and often they don't show up on me, but this one did. so. This was a very, very good release. And then, of course, we have, we're have we getting on to the release that came out a couple of days ago. So here we have Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. And I'm going to just find you the Beauty Glow one again, because as I said to you, I think that that one was the closest palette to this. And I will be right back. One second. OK, so here we have the new release. Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. And here we have the Beauty Glow palette. Okay. So they're both very warm, as you can see. So let's go through each, each one. So the prime shades are pretty similar, although I would say Beauty Glow is more champagne. And this one, um, the prime shade, is a lot cooler than this one. Then we have the middle shade. The middle shade, the enhanced shade, is a lot darker on this release. 
um and it's 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 not a shimmer shade it's what i would call a satin shade so think about the icon palette and those shades that are not really matte but they're more kind of satin finish that's what i would describe that one whereas this one in the middle is a sort of darker shimmer shade to enhance the eyes then at the end you've got a matte brown shade on beauty glow and on here you've got a very different shade not seen anything like it probably the closest um i would in terms of colored spectrum i would have seen is in walk of shame palette okay then you've got the bronze and glow which are the bronze actually in Beauty Glow was a lot lighter and I didn't like the bronze in this one because it was too fair for me. So when I use this palette, I actually mix this and the Swiss shade of the blush in order to get a dark enough shade for me. Now in this one, as I've said to you before, this bronzer is quite orange toned. So it is going to warm up your skin for the winter. It's perfect for that. Whereas obviously this was brought out in the summertime when you probably don't need to have as much orange tone in your bronzer. Then we move on to the highlighters. Now this one again has got more champagne. Um, and again, this one is cooler toned. Um, so this one has got, as you can see, it's got a sort of warm, warmer kind of champagne, almost almost kind of gold-ish, cream coloured, whereas this one is a lot um, cooler in tone. Then you've got the um, Swish and Pop. Now, the, what's the one at the bottom? The Pop shades. The Pop shades are quite similar. Um, this one is a little bit darker, but they're on a similar spectrum, if you can see. Obviously, the Swiss shades are very different. So the Swiss shade on here is very like the one, um, it's very like the pop shade on Pillow Talk blush, whereas this is very dark. Now this, um, this blush is actually um, the Climax Cheek to Chic blush. It's definitely the Climax. I was told that by um, a makeup artist at Charlotte Tilbury and I have compared them and they are identical. So this one is definitely an existing blush. Now, Charlotte often does put existing blushes into her instant look in a palette, which is why I was keeping an eye out for this. Um, but I don't think, apart from this one being very light pillow talk, the bottom one isn't because in pillow talk, it's darker and more terracotta. So I think this is a kind of original. Um, the bottom shade is very like the um, darker of the two pinks in Love Glow Cheek to Chic. The top one is Pillow Talk. So there you have those two in comparison. Um, if I show you the other ones, so here we have, which one do we have here? So this one was the previous one, the previous release, which is Smoky Eye Beauty. Um, you can see they're quite different. So this one is a lot more cool toned. You've got the black, you've got a very neutral kind of brown matte shade, and then a lighter, a lighter kind of prime shade. Um, then we've got Bar of Gold. This one is a lot cooler toned. You have got First Love Blush in that. This one is definitely um, darker than First Love Blush. And again, if you look at the two bronzers, this one is definitely going to warm up your complexion a lot more. This one you could use more as, you can use it as a bronzer, but you can also use that as a very good sculpt shade. Okay, so that is the last one, um, Smoky Eye Beauty. Then if we move on to Seductive Beauty, so moving back in our timeline, I will show you that one. So Seductive Beauty, um, again, you've got, I think these are kind of more muted eyeshadow shades, although they are amped up for the night. So you've got 
quite a similar prime shade there but when you get to the middle you have got a shimmer shade here as your enhanced shade um, and it is quite a light grey and then you have another shimmer shade so they're all shimmers in seductive beauty um, and that one is a kind of khaki shade whereas you, your smoke shade in this one is very kind of red toned and it's also a matte shade so it's very good if you have got hooded lids and you want a matte shade to put in the socket then looking at the uh, bronze and glow this one this bronzer is getting closer in tone to this one but it's still not quite as warm and you could still i think use that as a sculpt shade then the bottom um swish shade or pop shade is on a similar spectrum but a little bit lighter than this blush um the top shade is a kind of this one always reminded me although it's not quite the same as the love glow cheek to chic both of these shades because they're both kind of similar pinks but one is slightly deeper than the other just like in love glow Whereas the bottom one is quite similar, but the top one is obviously not pink. This one's a kind of salmon pink. And then you've got the highlighters. And I think, again, you can see that this highlighter is a lot warmer. This one is a lot cooler. Okay, so that's that one. And then we'll, lastly, I'm just going to show you this palette next to Natural Beauty, which, you be prepared, will look very different. So let me just get something to cover up the mirror. Of natural beauty so natural beauty are there are two mattes and a shimmer in the middle of, of the eyeshadows so you've got a matte brown for the socket you've got a kind of lovely beautiful rose gold champagne color as your enhanced shade and then you've got a matte um, a matte kind of prime shade which is very good for setting um, your concealer but it is not a shimmery shade at all um, it looks beautiful on because it looks like just a better version of you rather than you've got any makeup on let me just move that then you've got the again the bronzer shade is nowhere near as warm it's more neutral and again you have got more of a warm toned highlighter and the blushes Again, you've got two pinks, a darker pink and a kind of lighter pink. So, but the darker pink has got a bit more brown tone into it. So it's not really similar to this pink. And then you've got this very light pink shade. So very different look. Obviously, this is far more festive. My arms are getting sore from holding these palettes up. And then this one is a lot more of a natural look. Now, I'm going to do some swatches for you so that you can see all of these together. So that I will put those photographs here and I will also put in, I'm going to try and get all the instant palettes together in one shot so that you can see them. Um, and I'll also put them on my Instagram page because they might be a lot easier to see. And I'll be right back.
Okay, so which one's my favourite? Well, I have to say that I think that this new palette, the Gorgeous Glowing Beauty, has overtaken um, Beauty Glow for me. Just because I love the purpley kind of tones that it's got in it, the kind of more maroon shades. And I, I'm a vintage vamp girl. That was the first um, look that I owned of Charlotte Tilbury. So it has slightly overtaken Beauty Glow for me. But I think, to be quite honest, this one is one that I will use in the autumn and this is one that I'll still want to use in the summer. And I think that it, it, in summing it up is the thing. Then natural beauty, when I'm away on holiday, I took natural beauty with me when my son Jack was in hospital um, because I wanted to look like I kind of didn't look dead in the morning. I was very under stress. So, you know, I wanted to look like a, a bit more woken up, but without looking like I'd plastered lots of makeup on. And it was so easy to take this in with me to the hospital um, when I was sleeping next to him in a bed at Great Ormond Street. So that one is really good if you want a really good no makeup makeup look. And then not forgetting the other two, I think Seductive Beauty is very good if you're having a night out and it's very glamorous. It's, it's smoky, but it's very chic smoky. And then the Smoky Eye Beauty is a very, um, it's very good. The black is really pigmented in it. Really good pigmented shadows there. Um, but those two are my kind of last two favourites now. Um, but that is a sum up. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do let me know which one is your favourite um, and what you use them for, because I'd love to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you tomorrow. I've ordered the new highlighter. I wasn't going to do it because I thought she's got a lot of highlighters that look like that. Um, but then I thought, oh, I like the packaging. And so I'm hoping that it is something different. Um, so I will put that up tomorrow and I will also be doing Charlotte's skincare bargains. So please join me tomorrow and I'll see you all then. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you all. Mwah! For details of what I'm wearing, check in the description bar below. All right. Bye-bye.